All right, so if you have been following along so far, you should have the entire project development setup in place, including Babel, Editor Config, ESLint, and Prettier. Now, this is a good point for us to start talking about the React tooltip component that we are going to build in this library. So I'm going to import React from React to create a React component here, but I don't have React installed in this project at this point. So before I go ahead and install React, I want to take a moment and talk about how you should be shipping React with this library. Well, there was a catch there. You should not be shipping React with this library at all because anybody using this library will already have React installed in their dependency and will be present in their node modules. So you should not ship React or React Tom with your library. So, but we need React to build this library. So we can go ahead and add React and React DOM as de dev dependency of this project. So I also want to make sure that anybody using this project um, must have React and React DOM installed um, if they're using this library. So we can do that by specifying the PR dependency of the library. And I'm going to go ahead and add React and React DOM in here. So since we are going to use uh, React portals, which were introduced in React 16.2.0, we need to make, make sure that uh, anybody using this library um, should have React, at least React 16.2.0 installed in their project. So I'm going to go ahead and add React 16.2.0 as a, and above as the peer dependency, and same for React DOM. Now, this will ensure that um, anybody who doesn't have this will, will see a warning while they run yarn or npm install in their terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and create a tooltip component. It will be a stateless component at this point because I'm just only going to return a header which says, hi, I am a tooltip. All right, so this doesn't do much at this point because um, I also want to set up the documentation and the demo in place if I were to go ahead and build this because I need a way for me to test uh, whatever I'm building in the browser. So there are multiple ways to do that. I can go ahead and install Webpack Dev Server, set up the entire thing in an example app, import this component there and render it in the DOM and in, can check everything in the browser at the same time using hot reload. But that's so much cumbersome. I don't wanna spend my energy and time to, to do that for um, uh, numerous components that I'll be building. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and explore some tooling that's out there that I can use to um, maintain a toolkit of components that I'm going to be building. And if I further plan to add a modal in this library, I can do that or a popover, I can do that um, by with very less hassle uh, involved. And I've been using Storybook uh, for a lot of my personal projects and even at work. And this is excellent. This is highly scalable. You can just um, add, keep adding components with their you know, variants, uh, how you should be using this and their demo alongside. And you can also include uh, the documentation right here by having some plugins in place. But very recently, I came across this really beautiful tool called Talks, which is also very similar to um, Storybook, but here you don't have to create stories. You can just write documentation and um, like you can just write a similar thing here. I'll just track this, okay. All right, so you can just write, you can just import your button component and render it as you would do in your React app. And this would give you a screen, something like this, explaining you the usage and the props that are involved in that component. So I find it really handy and I think this can, this fits well for our use case here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install docs in our project so that we can test whatever we are building and also maintain its documentation in a really neat way. So I'm gonna go ahead and add docs. 
Now note that I'm adding it as a dev dependency of the project, not as a dependency because I don't want to bundle this with my library. This is only used uh, while I'm developing this tooltip component. So this will be a dev dependency. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and create while this is getting installed, I'm going to go ahead and set up a documentation folder, which will contain all the docs and demos. Now I can add it um, in the SRC as well, but I want to keep things modular. So I'm going to go ahead and create a file called tooltip.mdx, which is a syntax that is required by uh, docs. All right. So uh, I just copy pasted the demo component here and if I have everything set up correctly, I should also see a similar UI uh, for, for this component. But I don't have my component, so I'm just going to go ahead and modify it as per my needs. So I'm going to import tooltip from SRC. Yep, and I'm going to call it tooltip and there won't be any documentation as such. I can write whatever I want, but I'm just simply going to render my tooltip component for now. Um, this will be pretty simple. Uh, let's see how this turns out. But for me to run this, I need to add um, docs as in my project. So I can just go ahead and see how to do that. Getting started. Okay, now I have installed it. I just need to run docs dev to run this. So I can just simply add it in my scripts because that'd be much simpler if I can always run yarn start and have the entire documentation running quickly. So I can just go right here and add start docs dev. Cool. So this will ensure that whenever I run yarn start, um, docs will be running in development mode and I should see the documentation up. So if I go ahead and do yarn start, everything should work smoothly. Hmm. So I know that this will run on localhost 3000. Okay, so I think I messed up something. Okay, so I think there is some issue with the way I've written the component. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. Excellent. So let's call it const tooltip is equal to export default. Okay, so it's working. Excellent. Hmm. So this is not on the first route. All right. So you can see that I am able to render my tooltip component, which was hi, I'm a tooltip uh, here. So this is pretty cool. I, with the minimal setup, I have the documentation in place.